There's been plenty of logging up on the hillsides and grids, you know, like the stuff that Lyle Laverty was working on or whatever back in the day. Planning these logging projects, they're clear-cut blocks here, there, and all over the place on the map, but not in the actual creek bed as far as I could ever tell. Right. There's also a major clear-cut uh, in the vicinity of the MP Davis site where we found those stumps. Yeah. And on the aerial 93 map show a lot of the clear-cut took place yeah. there. That could have been done later, actually, yeah. on the MK well, site, because that's a, between a that and flatter 93. plane, right, going right. back in there. It's, it's not a real steep slope, and that was the debating factor also for timber, how what percent slope was the background slope based on the photos. Like, uh, trying to look at the dark and light slide we did today, looking back and forth. It was suggested by MKDU to check it that way. And again, it's a matter of interpretation on the photos, what we see or what you yeah. see or what he sees. The, that's it's tough. A burn, a burn photo. But MK did some selective lightning in the background to reveal contrast amongst the trees. And it does show a lot more detail in the trees. Yeah, it did. But it's really hard to go along with MK when he's saying that that it looks like a flat area going back into the woods rather than a steep hill. You can see the trunks still rising up as they go up the hillside. And foliage is blocking that, making it seem less apparent to MK's eye anyways. Well, we did spend some time looking at it, flipping it. It'd be nice to flip them back and forth faster to look for quicker detail, but it's very difficult to try to figure that one. I think we could use MK's work on that to show the trees in the background. There's more detail seen in that in that altered image. Yes. So we may be able to take that on the Cliff Berrickman site, and there's a whole bunch of the cl clustered trees up there on that upper sandbar that look really good. If we could just get a better sense from one of the photos, or hopefully from one that we get from Larry Lund or Thomas Steenberg, um, if uh, St Steenberg's ex-wife didn't destroy all of his photos after their divorce. So if she's watching this, please don't destroy the uh, evidence. Yes, yeah, save them, please. But uh, we do have we'll hopefully some, some more photos <laughs> coming in, which could... We won't have to rely so much on these main three photos that we have. Yeah. You know. Which three photos are the ones we we're beating our heads against? Just a refresher. Do we have those in the stack right there? Yeah. The the burn, the Hinden, and uh, John Green film. So we don't have a lot of time, we'll go this pretty good. Yeah, I recognize that person. That's this was 1977. Right. Who is this here? Barbara Wasson and Barbara Renee Wasson. Hinden. So actually she did go to the site, so when she said it was that description we gave the other time, she actually had Her information about the campground, though, was from Renee. That's in, published in her book. In her book uh, we read it in one of the videos. Right. Sasquatch apparitions. Which yeah. is yeah. Here's another we've been using. Interesting yeah. book. The Creek, the, the Rise and Fall, uh, 1971, taken by Renee. And then over here is another shot. Uh, is he, yes, uh, another one from Renee. So the X is on the trees saying the ones that fell down, and that's another shot right Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, stumps are still there. There's a couple of leaners in the background that match up. And uh, so this isn't a good printout, but that's the big tree. Right. in the back and then of course yes these had fallen down apparently that's why they were marked and there's, yes. the, there's another shot here and this is um Al, al's son yeah this is that's taken by Byrne peter Byrne. right and copyright 1972 peter Byrne. and it's it's obvious purposes. they they're in the right location there's no question he'd and found these are the all site. the stumps that we were looking at hopefully and this is the one that was uh Taken by Peter Byrne? 72, which right. is the Peter. same trip as this one here. Same trip as this one over here? Yeah, you can see, I think that's one of the Right, those are his kids, boys. right? That's, I think, one of the Hinden sons. 72 trip. And they're an area where you can see they could absolutely get flooded, uh, sanded over. Oh, yes. Very easily. But this is the height of 64, we've never seen it since. This is a raised sandbar, so the creek would only flood up on there in a major flood. Right, right. Like, a lot of people say, oh, the, the whole sandbar has changed over the years and stuff, but what we found was... No, in fact, this is very high, and it, the fine siltation up in this area here that well, we think we found one of the sites, anyway, you know, is rather high. And for the creek to get up that high and just flood yeah. this whole area, you need a complete blockage, causing a major backup. And we didn't see any evidence of post-64 floods of that dimension. In fact, we remember we found, like, down on the ground that piece of flagging tape that National Geographic had left. Oh, that's in. right. That you guys had commented about, I think Ian commented about <laughs> yeah. it, how exactly. it's been, what, two years and it's still there? A year and a half. A year and a half. Almost, yeah, a, half. almost a year and a half when we found it. it went through it was a still winter. there. And of course, you, if there's small vegetation growing there, 
on the sandbars, then you know there hasn't been a major flood anytime yeah. soon. And that would get cleared out. Well, all right, of this was recently. ripped out. You know, you, these trees are all, these are like dead trees standing there on the film site. Right, snags. And uh, this was probably all overgrown back then, before 64. Well, you like, can we're see. We're definitely in a flood zone. Yeah, raised, it's a flood, a raised zone flood here. planet. Planet. Yes, <laughs> it's all mud. This is a flood zone, so it flooded afterwards too. I bet. Well, well '64 was the high, uh, the high water mark. Oh, we, ha we haven't duplicated so it not since. Much soon, so. It floods, no, not but high. not necessarily all the way up onto there. This, well, this okay. is the last so the photograph that we have right now. We say hopefully we will have more on the way about for next with, uh, field season. Barbara and Renee. Yes, and this is. We believe 1977. According to Daniel Perez, who published this, we should say thanks. To him. Yes, uh, Thank the, many thanks much. for the generous sharing of uh, all of his resources. Uh, but that was 77, and you can yes. see it's already totally starting to overgrow here. Exactly. Uh, they're standing right, right about in here, I believe. There's. They were trying to replicate in front of the log. Exactly. So can we actually see something in this photo that's going to recognize this with the other one? Well, the big trees are back there. There's a second one. How about the logs? There's a log. that one too. Is that a log? Am I seeing things? Well, that might be the log. Is it this one? Can yeah. we see a log in there? Is that the log? Uh, so that's a log there. In the Bigfoot Times, there was there were two photos published, and one showed another fellow standing yes. in the background. Uh, I do not have a, yeah. a printout of that one. But so the big trees are back in here, and the, from the, dip, ang the angle of the second shot, you're looking into here, where the big the film site went back behind here. They're they're in front now of the bushes and stuff, like that grew up. So can you match that log that's in this picture? This very log here. Yeah, with this log here, but unfortunately oh, the end piece now. is missing. And then you look at this one here from a distant shot. Could that be it, or what? Well, I think the logs are here from in that pile over there. Yeah. Uh, well, you can okay, see. There's a log laying down right here. You can see in this shot. Yeah. Um. The that yeah the. Um, yeah, I think that you're. I think that you're right about here. However, here's where Murphy puts the uh, camera position. But he puts it over the there. Pa Patterson was in front of that log. Where that circle is. Look at this. Here we go. This is this. Yeah, it's the it's, same photo. It's the same yeah. spot. Okay. Yes. But Murphy just put his little locations for there. his photo study. Oh, right. But I'm, I'd love to just heard, you know, maps are kind of cool, but match that point of that log. <laughs> There's yeah, it's like well, a stump in the background. Talking camera angle problems. And camera right? angles are hard to do because distances are another issue to deal with. Is there, is there any other factors I have? And we, we've talked about this before. And so we've talked about the height of the hillside. We've talked about trees. Uh, we talk, we're going to try to do some aging here in the future. If that's going to be helpful with boring, boring increments. Yeah, and uh, a metal detector. Metal detector. We talked about using a metal detector because we did find a piece of, I guess, rebar, we have right term, at the half mile up. Barbara talked about a campsite, half mile from the bridge. Which we well, think Renee might have marked. And now we find a piece of rebar there, and uh, it'd be nice to go out and see if with the metal detector could find a few more items. Yeah, well, Renee, Renee, I don't know if this got in our videos before, but we know that Renee hammered rebar down on the film site when he was doing this surveying stuff, as a matter of fact, from right. my understanding. Is, it may have been this very trip when he put this rebar down. Like you, he's got some kind of survey thing going on. Yeah. There's his little tripod. Tripod thing in the trigger. There's the um, pole they were using mm -hmm. to the, mark the, the height of height. the guy. Correct. That would be, I guess, three frame 352. It would be, because see, after you left here, there's branches hanging down. Yeah. That's in the same shot as oh, hey, So maybe that's the big tree right there, then. Because here's that branch that's hanging down. Yeah, there. And there's that branch. Can you see this for a second? Ian? Yes. There's that branch that's hanging down. So yeah, this look, sticks over here. That's a pretty mm -hmm. good match. Wow, I'm liking it. So, and, and here's a side one. Look, here's a side one. Yep, that's it. Yeah. That's cool. At least we know this picture was taken bubbles. near here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, we, now that mean if we know this, that we should be able to find this log here, right? So Which, that is this log. So I have to wait for another. That's got to be the log. So according to that, maybe the that, camera angle is slightly different. Right, and we don't see the end of this log because it's see, farther over. There's that. There's that pole. There's the yeah. pole. Wow. 
a couple beers. Of course, on camera. This was two different trips. Correct. Seventy-two and seventy-seven. No, oh, that that's a stump. Okay. There's a crack in it and stuff. It looks like a stump. It's a cut-off log section. Bigfoot lives. 